So, yeah, but we also have sets like the Gommel set, where Mango just kind of kind of ran away with that it. That was yeah. kind of a wash. We'll be real. <laughs> Leffen, doesn't but, want, Leffen doesn't want that, but we're going into game one of Leffen versus Mango. Let's get into it. it is Winter on semis. Dreamland starting off. Let's see how this one goes. Classic sets between these players all the time. Oh, for sure. We got another one starting off right now. And as a matchup, Fox Falco might be the most fun to watch. Could be. Honestly, I mean, it kind of embodies melee. It and the really idea does. of melee of just speed, precision, and combo continuation, despite the fact that your opponent has all these defensive options. And even like the weight oh. class, oh, gets the shine. And even like the yep. weight class of both these characters, right? Yeah, yeah. Makes it such that, that the combo game of the edge guarding can be very creative from both ends. And it's going to be quick the whole time. Oh. All right. Reverse air for Mango. Oh, oh nice DI away so yeah. that he doesn't actually get like a full edge guard there. Right. If it had been a strong bear, he probably would have been dead, but the soft bear is going to actually be in a brilliant DI from Leffen. This is going really well for Leffen right now. Yeah, at the moment, starting off strong. And these guys oh. definitely played a good amount this week. Watch. Oh, that tech from Leffen. Insane. Yeah, and somehow actually lives on the left side there even after the down smash. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, okay. That you need to make your opponent work for it, right? Because that makes it so much harder for Mango right now. Because he had two basic edge guards that he, if he could have gotten, would have been pretty much the stock in his yeah. favor, right? Now all of a sudden, Leffen has all this momentum, four stocks to two. Yeah. Yeah, and it looks like Mango's still kind of trying to get his legs and try to, you know, starting to get going. But Leffen yep. is coming out of the gate really hot, mm -hmm. as we saw from Fiction as well. It's very difficult to overcome that on, yeah. a, on a situation like this where it's top eight, you know, everyone's going to be gunning for the victory, obviously, and uh, Levin looking a little bit stronger to start. And honestly, this particular set dictates what's going to happen for Genesis 7 so much, right? Yeah. And it's got to be on both these players' minds, so. Right. Definitely going to be a factor here. Jumps out of the forward air, so it doesn't actually get the forward smash. Does the tournament winner... Yeah, winner of this, guaranteed top three. Yeah. And, you know, in a very good spot to potentially take the whole tournament. So yeah. both of them looking for it. Let's see if Mango can try to bring this game one back, but it's all left in so far for the most part. For sure. Tries to get the early gift with the shine. Mango doesn't allow that to happen. Okay, gets an opening of his own. I Goes like right that. into down tilt. Oh! oh. It, uh, it sends him back onto stage, yeah, right? Unfortunate. Could have been the stock right there, but. Really a big hallmark of Mango's play is how he converts differently off down airs at low percent. If he notices that you smash the eye away or something, he won't necessarily go for the shine. Falco with that little shine, he'll offer something else. Levin does take that game one. Right. Strongly with the two stock, but yeah, Mang that's one really good thing about Mango, especially against fast fallers, is that if he down airs you with Falco at low percent, he kind of reacts to how you DI it. Right. Because most of the time, if you do smash DI away, then there's going to be no shine follow-up available. He'll go for an up tilt, he'll go for a dash grab, things like that, yeah. that allow to open up more options. No, yeah, I, I think one of the greatest things about Mango's gameplay is how he does all these mix-ups, right? Right. Using moves that other Falcos might not be using as much in mm -hmm. those certain situations. So right, right. it's really nice to see these DI mix-ups in particular, like you pointed out. Yeah. But that being said, that being said <laughs> Leffen, with Leffen, an amazing start. Leffen has the consistency, though, right? Yeah, like, yeah. His, his combo game is fleshed out. Anytime he's right. going to get you above him, yeah. you're eating a lot of damage. He doesn't need to do... He doesn't need to mix it up too much. He keeps right. it clean. And he keeps I think it simple that's, and clean. That's, that makes it easier to con to have this consistent combo game when you're... Oh! oh catches the Omsa tech after yeah. the down smash with the forward smash. Nicely done for Mango. But yeah, when you when you have a more consistent flow chart of the same move every time in specific situations, it makes it a lot easier to continue because you don't have a decision to make. You know exactly what button you're pressing. Right. That being said, some of the things that Leffen does is like very, very high execution, right? Oh, yeah. So like if he doesn't quite do do it exactly oh. right, you might end up like that. Yeah. You might just end up off stage and suddenly you get you eat a down smash to the face right. at a very, very low percent. Great start for Mango in game two, trying mm -hmm. to even it up. Oh, what a what a scary laser from the corner. Mm -hmm. Full hop. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> That's the mango. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. Some crazy lasers coming out from Mango. Oh. Okay. okay. Mm, doesn't get the tech chase there off that mm -hmm. that down air. Oh, so many hits. 
Again, a lot of these players versus Leffen re respect the ledge that so much so that they're always a good distance away from them. Mm -hmm. They don't even want to contest it at all, right? Yeah. Which is probably the right call. That's generally, I mean, if you know that they're going to do it consistently, then you respect it. You give them some space and hope that they kind of whip a move. Definitely. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, the oh, short. What a shorten for Mango. Okay. Oh, and he goes straight with the up I love Mango's variance on his up recoveries because yeah. he really, really keeps it ambiguous. Yeah. He definitely never, like, overcommits to a certain option. A lot of players these days will always go down to ledge. Mango is just always ambiguous. Is he going up? Is he going straight? Is he going down? And further Mixes to, it up very well. Further to that, it, it, Mango's actually one of the few players that says that Falco with the double jump is actually better in recovery for, uh, against Fox. Yeah, yeah. Like, he, he be I genuinely believes that Falco with the double John has a better recovery than Fox. Yeah, no, I oh, oh the laser boy. into the down air. Oh my god. Mango answering back in a Ooh. big way with the three stock on battlefield. Nicely done. Yeah. But yeah, I mean there's uh big shout outs to my homie Milkman has said that Falco potentially has a better recovery than Fox. Right. His side B does come out, I think, like seven frames sooner or something like that than right. Fox is. And with the double jump, you have so much vertical distance, right? right? And then with the side B and the up B angles that you can do, especially the way that Mang how Mango keeps it ambiguous, yeah. it's a pretty tricky recovery to, yeah, to, yeah. to actually edge guard. No, you can make it hard to edge guard. I wouldn't necessarily say it's better than right. Fox's. And, and because just, but... just because when you don't have the double jump, you're probably done. <laughs> yeah, the, probably, you're probably, probably screwed. Done. But probably. with the double jump, it's arguable yeah. for sure. Right. All right, let's see. Ooh, oh, catching the roll. Or at least Love the pressure, the but also the reaction from left into that pressure to be able to set this up with that up tilt. Oh, and actually, let's go with ledge. But I think he ran out of invincibility. Oh, 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 and Mango accidentally getting that little shield fall. It kind of forces you. You can't act out of it for a little bit. So right. unfortunate for him. Could have been a recovery. Okay, okay, this this is big. Man, the smash you got from Leffen off these off these uh, shines that Mango's been doing makes really it good. so difficult for him yeah. to actually follow up. Yeah, I mean, that's normally the big advantage that Falco does have in this matchup is that he's a oh, beautiful conversion, though. Mm -hmm. um, he's able to convert off so many different situations because of the way his moves kind of set up for combos. Right. But Levin has been smash DIing really well the whole set. Now, the defensive play can't be understated for both these players, right? Yeah. A lot of times these combos will be working on, like, most of the field. Right. Oh. Oh, again. And Mango with slight misread. And honestly, Leffen has been doing such a good job mixing up the way he's been teching off these hard oh. knockdowns, but gets the spike on the side B. And again, that fast side B oh. from Falco. Oh, man. Looking like that play for a second there. Look at the shield oh. angling there. That was crazy that shield angling. It was a tiny little m, &M. and <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. m, &M minis out here. <laughs> Both of these players playing really well, and now it's two stocks apiece in game three. Yeah. Oh, oh. wow. Okay. Oh, I love the conversion. Oh, he almost gets the down air there. Yeah, beautiful shorten from Leffen to avoid that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, and the jab reset, even despite missing the up with our follow up. Right. And even the quick. Oh, oh, oh he gets the tech. tech. Wow, he gets he the get tech. That? How Dude. in God's name did he just get that tech? I don't understand. <laughs> and then Mango still got the edge guard. Yeah, no, this oh, is both of these goodness. guys so hungry to win this. Oh, oh, and look at the defense. Look at the way that they're What's recovering. Happening? Okay, Levin getting a little bit too crazy, I think, here on this right side. Oh, my goodness. Wow. That whole sequence requires like 10 minutes oh, of analysis yeah. for how much crazy stuff just oh, happened with the edge guarding, and it's still going beautiful on. Beautiful lasers, but not quite able to finish it. Nice. Levin okay. could still take this game. Yeah. And the way that Leffen's been playing on the edge guarding sequences, especially the way he's playing by ledge, if he yeah. gets one of those up tilts, he does a back throw. What a tech off the wave shine. Oh, oh waits for the Mango roll. Mango chance coming out. And oh! The shine down air from Mango. Yeah, and even with that little upward momentum that the shine gave him, that down air still killed at that percent just barely. Yeah, so. that's why That's why you saw Beautiful. it not, not fall down as fast right. as you it might wasn't normal. It would have been instant death normally, but right. because of the upward momentum from the shine, yeah. it caused him to die a little bit slower, but Leffen could go right back. Oh! <laughs> you can't be giving those up, but that's, I feel like... That's real yeah. questionable to start. Oh! Oh, oh my goodness, Mango! Leffen. Looking very good in this game four. What's gonna happen right now? Looking that amazing, but Levin definitely looking a little bit sloppy on these past few stocks, especially if you go back to last game.